here in Bordeaux to visit some of the most iconic estates, taste their brilliant wines, and get to know the people behind them. So follow me as we discover Bordeaux together. Hi Oliver, nice to see you. How are you? You French. look well. I am well, yeah. that's why. So Jean-Charles, we're in the cellars of Vinchbarge. Thank you for inviting us. Tell us a little bit about your family's history in the village of Poyac. Uh, my great-grandfather started in Poyac as a baker. And as I often say, uh, my only luck was that the bakery went on fire and it was during the 1930s, Great Depression, and that's when a, a broke uh, baker from Poyac could become a chateau owner. But, uh, he took over Lange in 1933 as a farmer. Uh, after a few years, he was able to buy the property just before the um, Second World War. This is 2022. Ah. This is the um, third vintage uh, made in our new cellar. Every year we, we've uh, discovered uh, new uh, features that helped us to uh, take advantage of every vintage that we've produced since 2020. And have you seen an improvement in the wine as a result? Uh, extraction techniques with the um, uh, the tank elevators, the fact that we only use gravity with no, um, with no, uh, no pumps mm. uh, makes that our extractions are very precise. Um, all this has, has changed uh, the way we make wine at Lange-Barge. The style of Lange-Barge hasn't, hasn't changed, but the precision and quality has, has improved over the last couple of years, yes. Shall we, shall we yeah, try? I think so. Great color, huh? Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Despite the very hot weather we had, um, the level of acidity is the same as what we had last year in 2021, which was a much cooler vintage. And that acidity is really important to balance mm. uh, the structure of this wine and to give it drinkability. So this is why I think it's uh, it's really an exceptional vintage. It's uh, because of this of this overall balance, and um, and its um, its style as well, which is really uh, forward. The 2022 is already getting a reputation as being a future icon. Are you happy with the results from your vineyards yeah. in Bordeaux? You know, as we say in Bordeaux, you know the the vintage in the cellar is always the best ever. You know, the one, the one that we come up with until the next one. But this year, it might be true. Uh, I think we, we really have an outstanding vintage. And what is really uh, striking is the homogeneity. When uh, now I've been tasting a few of my neighbors and going around. But yours is the best, right? Nobody's listening, right? <laughs> Great vintage, uh, you know, the vintage of the century, as we say, every five years. It has to be successful, uh, not only in one part of Bordeaux, but throughout Bordeaux. And I think this is the case this year. Jean-Charles, great to see you. Great to see you, Oliver. Glad Thank you, you for, for coming. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be back to see you soon.